the theme from the Sears Radio Theater. Tonight's story is a comedy with Andy Griffith as your host. Here's a preview. Fontaine, we in a whole pack of trouble. We up to hips and alligators. Okay, okay, now uh, we get rid of the car. I'll dry my hair. I'll stop eating. Where's Henry? In the kitchen. He's preparing something with a chef. Get him. Come on, let's get out of here. The Sears Radio Theater will begin after this message from your local station. Now, just in case you missed our first episode, let me retrace our story. You see, Fontaine Harris and his pal, Vernon J. Crawley, are good old country boys who worked a car of the future scam through the South in 1928. It wasn't successful, and Fontaine looked for bigger fish. Vernon, the talking movies. That's where this country's headed. I'm on the verge of a conceptual breakthrough. Hogwash. In Joplin, Missouri, they teamed up with a down-on-his-luck Frenchman who fit right into Fontaine's plans. However, Armand Chevalier had to change his name to... Henri Garbeau. I always wanted to be Greta's husband. Well, just be your cousin and we'll do right by. Lo and behold, the trio formed a fake movie company without even a camera and sold over $5,000 of worthless stock to the good people of Kansas City. We're going to get in a pack of trouble. But they didn't. And headed for the quiet town of Cicero, Illinois, to make a bigger score. Boys, this is going to be a piece of cake. My foot. Cicero was the headquarters for Big Al Angel, a notorious bootlegger who wanted to buy the movie company for $15,000 all cash. What the boys didn't know was Al would pay them off in counterfeit money, much to the disgust of his faithful bookkeeper, Millie Himmel. It ain't fair, Al. These men have devoted their lives to that company. But as fate would have it, Big Al was mowed down by a rival gang before the deal could be cemented. Millie and our heroes escaped with their lives. The four of them hot-footed out of town and headed west. Oh, by the way, Millie took $400,000 of Big Al's bootlegging money just to help them meet expenses. Which brings us to a place where I can say, stay tuned because that's only the beginning of our story. Sears Radio Theater. A new adventure in radio listening. Five nights of exceptional entertainment every week. Brought to you in Elliot Lewis' production of The Sears Radio Theater. Our story, Fontaine Harris in Hollywood by Ken Gerard. Our star, Pat Buttram. The Sears Radio Theater is brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company. Sears, where America shops for value. Vernon drove like a man possessed, and they seemed in the clear. But one of Big Al's friends, Lou the Knife, is hot on their trail and plenty angry. Yeah, what'd you find, Spider? They gotta be around. Yeah, 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 poor Al. Yeah, he was a bootlegger's bootlegger. Don't worry about your Bryans. Find my dough. That's top priority. What? You don't understand. That means do it now. Find Millie Himmel, Al's bookkeeper. Yeah, she's got my cabbage. All 400 G's finer. Me and the boys are... What? It's wrong. Oh, all right. The boys and I are heading west. I think she's going to make a run for Omaha. How far are we from Omaha? Eh, possibly half an inch. You crazy? Look at the map yourself. Here, we are just about la. And Omaha, there. I measure half an inch. Henry, uh, oh, skip it. I say something wrong? Oh, boy, am I thirsty. Golly, I'm so thirsty. Again? You've had three moxies and a chocolate phosphate since Rock Island. Well, I ain't quenched. And we ain't stopping. Neither am I. Boy, am I thirsty. Oh, Oh, man. Your fish ain't the most delicious. Does he always eat like this? He's just a growing boy. Here, Gark, another bowl of whipped potatoes. Here, you hold it. Take it. 
You trust me with the $400,000? I don't want to know about it. Listen, Lou the Knife is a rough customer. Does he have kill tattooed on his cheek? No, because nobody who crosses him lives. I ain't hungry no more. Lou's tap, a born killer. You know, he used to have a knife throwing act in the circus. He threw knives at the audience. I'm saying we in a whole pack of trouble. We up to our hips and alligators. Okay, okay, now uh, we get rid of the car. I'll dry my hair. I'll stop eating. Where's Henry? In the kitchen. He's preparing something with a chest. Get him. Come on, let's get out of here. <laughs> Voila, mes amis. I have prepared mon spécialité. Drop it, Bubba. We're clearing out. Mon Dieu. Louis the Knife? Not yet, but soon. Oh, uh, well, hold on. Well, what, what's the specialty? Come on. Well, now, simmer down, folks. We ain't spotted, right? Yeah, I guess so. Sorry, but this this whole thing, I'm just a ball of nerves. Oh, then we can all calm ourselves with a voila, mousse henri. Yuck, I ain't eating no mousse. Idiot. It looks delicious. Oh, what's that? Puree of moose lips? Let's see. Mmm, my, my, very tasty. Better than the drugstore ice cream. Mm, peasants. I wish they had some food to take out of here. Say what? Take out? Yeah, like chicken or a bucket of soup. Oh, I must remember that. Take out. Vernon, it's another conceptual breakthrough. Your moose is terrific. <laughs> Sweet. For this sweet. <laughs> <laughs> this is a simple recipe. In my family for three generations. Uh, pardon. <gasps> Madame Millie, is that your friend from the club? Huh? Club? Oui, 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 club. What's he saying? He's saying, is that man that. that. that's. yeah, yeah, that's. That, that's one of Al's boys. Huh? We're dead. Give me a steak. Where? Blood where? <gasps> It's Lou the Knife. You can have my share of the money. No, uh, we're going to get out of here now. Uh, Henry, uh, what about through the kitchen? You seen any strangers around here? A French guy and a fat girl? I'm going to slap his face. Am I fat? Am I? This ain't no time to count calories. Well, do you think I'm fat? We're going to be dead weight if we don't get right quick. There is a back entrance. We need an exit, not an entrance. Well, does a door open both ways? Yeah. Oh. Let's go. I take my moose. C'est le French Tegard. Come on, drive, boy. Hit it. Go. Uh -uh, uh -uh. If he catches us, he's going to slice me up. Vite, vite. I am too young to die. This ain't no good. We got to dump the car. Oh, you're right. So what do you suggest, we fly? But of course. Keep driving, Vern. I can fly. Me too, when I'm drinking. Hush up. Fly an airplane. Naturellement. Henri was an ace in the Great War. Which side? You're not giving us the bill. No, 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 me no. I was with the best of them. Fighting the Hun. <laughs> All of us. Very musical. Now, cut it out. Now, Henry, if you can fly... Which I can. Okay, Vern. Head towards the airfield. Really? Well, where is it? I don't know. Let's ask that geezer. Uh, pardon me, sir. Huh? Which way to the airfield? Uh, scenic or direct route? Uh, the quickest way, please. Uh, let me see. It airfield's two miles straight ahead. <laughs> them birds? Remember the Count de Saint-Cloud? Well, sure, he bagged over 20 of the Huns. You're the Count? Me no. I was his mechanic. <laughs> We're dead. I'll try the moose. I thought that... The... I can fly. I can trust me. Would a Frenchman lie? Would Henri Garbo lie? Would I risk one hundred thousand dollars. Nope, no. Get moving. Promise him anything. 
nothing but buy us a plane. Okay. Now, just sit tight, everybody. You better be giving it to us straight on, Ray. <laughs> Have no fear. I've never been higher than the top of my mini's barn. I was in an elevator once. Flying is nothing. If Lou catches us, we will be nothing. I hope he bought some snacks to take with us. Hey, well, we're all set. Henry, are you sure? Oh, positive. I know everything about airplanes. Oh. How much? Oh, I traded the car and uh, $200. Oh, that's terrific. Yeah, wait till you see the plane. Hey, this is right now. Oh, it's pretty. Uh, what do you think? You... You'd be about the wrong place. The wrong... What? This is a week or nine. Oh, you stop against Texas? Idiot. I have never flown it. Oh, what are we going to do? Oh, well, this is it. Nothing else for sale. It's fly or die. I have only been at the control of a genuine... Well, it's a hell of a time to start thinking about women. Burn. Now, Bubba, you, you got to try it. D'accord. I'd do it. Now, the longer we stay, the more chance Lou will find us. I say we try it. Yeah, let's, let's move. Uh, get up there, Millie. What did you shoving? I am. That's why I'm shoving. Everybody set? Shut up. was probably one of the first white knuckle flights in American aviation. Henri dipped and dove, Millie and the boys screamed and screamed. Finally, after many stops, the cornfields disappeared, the painted desert loomed ahead, and then next thing you know, Henri landed in a small, dusty town in the wilderness, in a strange place called Nevada. And who cares? Nothing but a bunch of sand and rocks. Well, at least it's flat. Right, Henry? <laughs> uh, uh, Henry, uh, right? <laughs> I am better than the Kahn crew. I fly like an eagle. I soar. Yeah, well, I'm sore, too. Come on, Fontaine. Let's get out of here. Yeah, give me your hand, Millie. Oh, oh my God. Oh, thanks. You got our money? Don't you know it? Uh-oh. He's chubby. What is short, wears dirty shoes, sways from side to side, and speaks. Relax, it's a cowboy. Howdy, strangers. Welcome to Las Vegas. Hello there. Hello. <laughs> Mighty nice plane you got there. Uh, Captain Garbo at your service. On the acre. You gonna stay for a spell? Let's get out of here. Hush now. Uh, could be, uh, where's the city? What you see is what you get. Fine hotel, though. Lots of good home cooking. Oh, we'll stay. Come on, drive you into town. Uh, what do you do for excitement around here? Listen to the radio? Shoot Gila monsters? Oh, I love the desert. It's so monotonous. Uh-huh. Ever been west before? Oh, yeah, Kansas City. Omaha. Been around, huh? Oh, sure. This here's a land opportunity. Uh, for what? Gold, silver. Fontaine, you hear that? Yeah, watch Bet he's got a mine for sale. Gold? Yep, that's all these pots good for. Uh, uh, I'm sure all the claims are at uh, stake. Yep, all gone. Just my luck. Except the Frenchman's land, prime property. French? Yep, Frenchman's flat. They say she's the mother load. Load is right. It is Las Vegas finest, Herman's Palace. Hmm. What a dump. Ask for Al. He's the manager. See you later, folks. Suppose there is gold. You never know. There's more gold in my teeth than that sand. It's my money. Millie, honey, don't. Please, it's a con. But just give me a couple of thousand. Oh, you're making a mistake. Okay, here. <gasps> Gee, thanks. You know, who knows? This place just might have potential. 
this burg ain't going nowhere. Nothing but sand, rocks. Even the river ran out of town. Call it woman's intuition. But I think... Here he is. All set. I'm going to show you choice acreage. Prime desert commercial sites already zoned. But first, we're going to see Rancho Santa Agua. Great place for homes. And then, the flats. Lost mine. Oh, how exciting. Yeah, for the lizards. You let her use all that dough to buy a heap of rock? Well, it's hers. Oh, some investment counselor you are. Well, I begged her, but you know women. Dang right. I'm scared. Of what? Having real money. They're going to pick me clean. No way. <laughs> oh, yeah? Well, you got brains and me. I, I'm just country. Listen, they're all country. Every one of them city slickers, only they hide it. You sure? Of course. It's all show. When they put on the Ritz and start acting swank... Man, that's thin. Those that act like big time, they ain't. And uh, those that look like they need a square meal. <laughs> Shoot, they got it in spades. Okay, I'll buy a used car. Well, just act natural. Everything's going to fall in your lap. You positive? Yeah, sir. Just trust me. I'll turn that $100,000 into a million. <laughs> Fontaine. Yes, sir. I'm sick of being independently poor. Let's hit the sack. Tomorrow, California. Henry wants to uh, get an early start. Wants to take off at dawn. Dawn? Well, for Henry, that means noon. All things considered, the last leg of the trip seemed pretty calm. Henri was superb at the controls. Finally, the desert gave way to orange groves. And when the Pacific Ocean appeared... Well, they were all pleased as punch. And, and... What's the matter? I don't know. The engine is dead. So are we. Oh, it's not fair. My sinuses are clearing. I try for a dead speak landing. Yeah, we're a dead duck. Oh, Papa. Do something. I am, I am. Well, it ain't enough. Look, to the right. An airfield. I tried for it. Oh, that's nice. Hang on to your head. I ain't wearing one. Oh, idiot. Come on, baby. Come on. Almost down. <laughs> oh, I'm afraid to look. Anybody hurt? Emotionally or physically. <laughs> I'm sorry I asked. Next time, let's take the train. Oh, I want to give you a big kiss. Please, mm. please. I can take just so much. Oh, hey, oh, 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 soldiers, coming this way. Don't shoot, don't shoot. We tried the money. We surrender. Don't, I'm a Republican. Oh, what? They, they're soldiers? <laughs> Salute the knife. Everybody take fight. A massacre. Uh, what are you clowns up to? Uh, well, we surrendered. Surrendered? You have just ruined an entire scenario. Another day of filming down the drain. We ain't on arrest. We are shooting a movie, not people. A movie? That's right, farmer. This was supposed to be Roger Roger's big scene. Instead, we got dumpy on the street, misfit. Pardon. That is no way to speak about a lady. Oh, Henri. Cut the accent, troop. Sir, as a Frenchman, I demand satisfaction. <laughs> Is he for real? Oh, Garbo, the flying gourmet. Oh, man, you in a heap of trouble. Garbo? Are you really French? But, of course. And who are you? And who were you? And who do you want to be? Carl von Gerten. Cinema director, writer, actor, producer. No, sir. I am creating my epic, Wings Over France, for the Ben Baron Studios. Uh, talking or silent? Silent. You can't trust actors with words. I think we hit it again. However, you, you fly very well. I fire Roger and hire you. A one-picture deal. No contract. $300 a week. <laughs> Me? <laughs> In movies? Why not? Well, now, 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 let's think about this. Oh, okay, we make it a package deal. I sign Henri, and the rest of you are extras. Extra what? Move scenes. You are the first ones to get killed. Terrific. I don't know. Oh, you are tough. But, okay, 
Okay. You get second billing, and Rhubarb here becomes the third assistant director. Uh, well, we, we just want to go to the hotel. With room service. And hot water. Can uh, we talk about it later? Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm my car. I have a great hotel for you. It is a bit out of the way in the country. California? No, Beverly Hills. <laughs> Amalgamated kinescope, Dr. Harris speaking. Who? Oh, hello, Millie. <laughs> How's your room? It's okay, but I'm lonely. Well, you're only next door. Come on over. Okay, I'll be right there. Oh, she meant it. Are you all right? Yeah. Now, what's the matter? Tell old Fontaine, huh? Well, look at me. If you want to, I don't fit in here. All the women in the lobby with little dogs and no hips. And then there's me. I dress like an unmade bed. Oh, sugar, you have inner beauty. I wish I was born inside out. I'll tell you what. We create a new image. First you diet, then new clothes. Hmm, sounds good. You learn how to play Mahong Jung. Great. A facial... A new hairstyle, a manicure. Oh, I could be a flapper. Well, for that, you need voice lessons. Of course. And uh, etiquette uh, classes. Oh, um, yeah. Uh, we'll look for some schools tomorrow. Great. I feel like a million. There you go. <laughs> hey, great news. Excuse me, young man. Dr. Harris, shall I see you at dinner? Of course, madame. <laughs> well, what's with her? Oh, uh touch of insecurity. Give her some aspirin. Sure, yeah. What you doing? Oh, uh, Carl von Gerken ain't. He's dead? No, no, he ain't Swiss. He's from Atlanta. Real name's Harley Swain. Ain't that a gag? We hit it off like termites in a lumberyard. I told you they're all country. Well, don't you look like the matinee idol. <laughs> <laughs> but, of course, I must project an image. <laughs> uh, you, you, you think that, that monocle is a bit too much? Oh, yes. I have a headache from squinting. Yeah, that's better. Oh, my dear. My chick went to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how, how's the movie doing? Oh, incroyable. So exciting. I fly, I fight, I romance. Uh, better than Joplin? Go oh, without doubt. And I owe everything to you. Uh, you are a genius. Uh, but now I ask a favor. Uh, you want some cash? I no. Uh, I don't want to see it. You take care of all my fun. Well, well thank you. I will. Uh, yeah. Très bien. But there is... One problem. Oh? The studio has not paid me this week. Say what? Monsieur Carl says it's back office paperwork. However, I asked him here to discuss it with you, eh? I knew there was a catch to this. Ah, good afternoon, Herr Harris. Ah, uh, you can cut that act with me, Harley. <laughs> I didn't know Vernon told you. Another poser? Uh, sorry, Henry. I should have guessed. Everybody's somebody else. Uh, sit a spell there, Bubba. L listen, Fontaine, I I I'm really sorry. You know, it's tough to make it here when you're from Georgia. Uh, uh, what's the story about Henry's money? Oh, a heap of quicksand. See, my movie's over budget. Some other films can't be distributed. I mean, who wants to see a movie about a cowboy doing card tricks? A uh, limited appeal. Oh, you better believe Anyway, this here Ben Barron, you know, B.B.? Yeah. He's looking to sell out. Uh, is he open to some new capital? You betcha. They're going to repossess the cameras on Thursday. The costume's Friday and the car's Saturday. If something don't fall out of the sky right quick. Uh, uh give him a call. Maybe we can uh, talk a deal. Oh, he's tough. Uh, ain't they all? Well, I'll try his private line. Hello, baby. This I'm is Carl. Well, uh, could you talk to Dr. Harris? You sick? No, no, no. He's the head of... Um... Amalgamated Kinescope. Yeah. Amalgamated Kinescope. Yeah. Sure, I've heard of him. Hey, 
manufacture thermometers. Put them on. Uh, Mr. Barron? Uh, call me B.B. Uh, yeah, uh, B.B., uh, could we, uh, talk some business later today? Sorry, production meeting. Oh, pity, pity. I'll have to invest with somebody else. Uh, how's five o'clock? Oh, fine. Don't be late. Uh, of course not. Eh bien? I'm gonna make him an offer he can't refuse. <laughs> practice my walking and talking and... Oh, Fontaine, if the deal looks good, count me in. I'll see you later. Oh, now what? <gasps> oh, no! Hi, you Millie. <gasps> no. That's right. And I brought my knife. Uh, nice place you got here. It's rented. Sure, with my money. How did you find it? Plain. That's it, if you know what's good for you. Because I ain't leaving Los Angeles empty-handed. Andy Griffith again, and here's the concluding act of Fontaine Harris in Hollywood. Lou, I'll get you money. That's sensible. But I need time. The poor Houdini skip out, forget it. I promise, cross my heart. Give me an hour. Okay, but don't try nothing. My boys are all over the hotel. An hour, or I'll cross your heart with my knife. Uh, sure, Lou. I'll be downstairs in the lobby, waiting. Oh, I gotta tell him. Hi, uh, hello. Give me room 909. Hello? Fontaine? Oh, we're in trouble. Come up here right away. Okay. Oh, just when I was learning how to walk and talk... What happened? See him out. Uh, worse, a rat. Where, where, where? But he just left. Lou, the knife is here. He wants his money. In an hour. We are dead. Would y'all tell me what's going on? Oh, Yankee gangsters. With oh. tattoos and knives. Overcoat. With cement lining. Cut down in my prime. He's as welcome as a flood in a bromo seltzer plant. Well, yes, he's back stairs. His thugs are all over the joint. Just when I was on a roll. Don't talk about food. <laughs> Will it hurt? I don't want to find out. Listen, we're not giving back that money. Oh, oh my God! Kill me! Hush, now, I'm, I'm on the verge of a conceptual break. Forget Ooh. it. We're going to be the takeout. Shh. Now, Millie, does he know about all of us? Uh, I don't know. Well, we'll have to gamble. Now, here's my plan. <laughs> No, 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 no. He's your friend. Chicken. Cut my dough, Millie. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is your boyfriend, eh? Uh, uh, Pleased to meet you. Really? Where the other clowns? Oh? The guy's on a plane. Oh, we ditched him. I, I wasn't going to split the money. Sure. I guess you learned something from Big Al. Okay. Give me a kill. How much is missing? Uh, we spent about 5000 On what? <laughs> Food, food, clothes, room service. I, uh, uh, bought some land. Where? In Nevada. Four commercial lots in Las Vegas. I got the deed. Prime property, right on the main drag. It only cost 2000 Forget it. You got stuck. This is a raid. Federal agents. You're all under arrest. G-Man! Put your hands behind your bed. Yeah, she's the one. That's her. D -d 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 Don't shoot. Well, well, Francie Royal, we cornered you at last. Uh, I'll take that bag. Hey, what's going on? Who are you? I want a lawyer. Check the room for machine guns. Hey, what is this? Counterfeiting. What? Take them downtown. Frenchie, you're going away for good. I'm innocent. Ah, uh, tell it to the judge. Hold on. Hey, let me talk to you alone, huh? Bribing an officer of the law is a federal offense. You, what do you mean, counterfeiting? You see this money? Bogus. Huh? Fake. We traced it to Big Al Angel in Cicero, Illinois, and the Himmel woman was the front, and Frenchie supplied the plate. That stuff is no good. Worthless. Okay, let's move. Wait Come a on. minute. 
I ain't connected with him. Oh, come on. You're the West Coast distributor. No way, Esker. It's a mistake. Yeah? Himmel, who is this guy? I, uh... Tell, I, him. I, Tell him the truth. I never saw him before in my life. Frenchie? He, he was looking for another room. I don't believe you. Uh, he ain't part of our gang. Okay, mister. I guess you're clean. You can go. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Get out of Los Angeles. Two days. Sure. Now, let's book him. Right. He looks shifty to me. Now, I'm running this show. You go ahead, fella. And don't come back. Don't worry. I won't. <laughs> oh, we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Oh, we'll just take care. The magnificent what drama. What emotion. Montaigne, you're acting. <laughs> it has a message. Oh, oh, man, celebrate. <laughs> Hello, room <Rue> seven. <laughs> Today, I'm going to dissolve the financial problems of this company. Oh, oh, yes. Quiet. You know we're in hock up to our ears. However, we got a fish on the line. Some jerkwater doctor is coming here to look us over. Maybe to invest. When he gets here, everything I say goes. Get it? Got it. Got it. Good. I do all the talking. Right, right, baby. All the thinking. Right, right, baby. This studio will not go up the drain. Get it? Got, got, it. got it. Good. Okay, Junior, let him in. Dr. Harris, I presume? A right pleasure, Mr. Barron, and these are my associates. They call me B.B. Hello. Uh, hello. I, I've never been in a movie studio before. Impressive, no. <laughs> We're one of the biggest in the country. What about the city? Ah, uh, cute. I like backwoods humor. Vernon, please. Cigar? Uh, no, thank you. Uh, sit. Sit. Um... Von Gerken tells me you might uh, just be interested in selling part of the company. Wrong. Nothing's for sale. Oh. To people that ain't my kind. And those are... People with money. Oh, I see. I built this studio from nothing into what it is today. Less than nothing. A giant. Right, boys? Oh, hi, baby. Our motto is, what we do, others don't. Get it? Got, Got it. it. Good. And uh, th this is your staff? Uh, the finest. My son, the vice president... My son-in-law, <clears throat> the treasurer, my uncle, the assistant treasurer, he watches my son-in-law, my cousin, the executive producer, and my nephews, the executive directors. You could say it's all in the family. Uh, yeah, impressive. Besides that, we got a whole host of stars. The wild and crazy Simpson brothers, the Egyptian Spitfire, Princess Impossima, and the Texas Flash, Cowboy Conrad. Um, uh, I never heard of any of them. Uh, they're being groomed. Soon bigger than Mary or Doug or Theta. Why, even Mr. Garbo fits into my plans. Um, how many talkies are you going to film? None. They're a flash in the pan. Never make it. For that kind of stuff, include me out. Yeah, I see. Uh, what kind of assets do you have? Well, besides myself, we own this building... And a few acres of orange groves in some jerkwater village called uh, uh, Beverly Hills. What you're buying is the Ben B. Barron name. The reputation. I don't know. Seems kind of risky. You don't want to be president of the company? Well, that sounds mighty flattering. President Harris. And we'll give you an office, too. With a desk? Absolutely. Uh, what's the deal? For you, 10% of the stock for $50,000. Uh, I'll think it over. Well, oh, sit down. <laughs> Just testing mm. you. Because you're my kind of guy, I'll go 25% for $50,000. Now, Bubba, you're in a whole peck of trouble. Uh, you can't meet the payroll. They're coming for the equipment. And you're sitting at the table trying to draw to an inside street. You crazy? This is a million-dollar studio. Right. And I'll give you $20,000 for 75% of the stock. Cash on the barrel head. You got a deal. Boys, draw up the papers. Oh, you got them right here. Uh, just let me fill in the amounts. I'll sign here, and you sign here. Yeah, with pleasure. Uh -huh. Done. Uh, here's your cash. Congratulations, Dr. Harris. You bought into a triple-A corporation. Boys? Right, baby. Tomorrow we start work on another silent western. That's where this industry is headed. 
That sounds interesting. Uh, I'll see you all. Sure. Come around any time. <laughs> You just blew $20,000. That man is a barbarian, an idiot. How could you? You're stuck. A style of Western. What a rotten idea. Millie's going to hit the ceiling. Depressing. Come on, Henri, let's eat. No. I want to be alone. Now, don't fret, fellas. Old Fontaine owns 75% of this outfit, and tomorrow... I'm going to start making some changes. Just you wait and see. The Sears Radio Theater has been brought to you by Sears Roebuck and Company where our policy is satisfaction guarantee or your money back. Sears, where America shops for value. Fontaine Harris in Hollywood was written by Ken Gerard, produced and directed by Elliot Lewis. Your host was Andy Griffith. Our star was Pat Buttram. Featured in the cast were Barney Phillips, Shepard Menken, Sandra Gould, William Woodson, Hal Peary, and Jack Crucian. The music for Sears Radio Theater was composed and conducted by Nelson Riddle. This is Art Gilmore speaking. The Elliott Lewis production of Sears Radio Theater is a presentation of CDI. Entertainment with great music and more. People like Donna Michaels and Tom Lewis on KMOX FM, St. Louis. KMOX FM. CBS News, a guilty verdict in a celebrated Florida murder case. This is Doug Poling reporting on the CBS radio network. A 32-year-old former law student was judged guilty of perpetrating a night of horror on the fringes of the Florida State University campus nearly two years ago. A report from Jim Leodal of Miami Station WINZ. A 12-member jury deliberated for six and a half hours before finding Theodore Bundy guilty on two counts of first-degree murder, three counts of attempted murder, and two counts of burglary. The murders, beatings, and break-ins occurred on January 15, 1978, near the Florida State University campus in Tallahassee. After the verdict was rendered, Judge Edward Cowart told the jury that their work is not yet finished. I will excuse you now, and we've cautioned and told everyone not to discuss anything with you concerning this phase of your verdict. We still have judicial labor to do. We will begin that promptly at 10 o'clock on Saturday morning. The jury will now be asked to recommend a sentence. Prosecutors will ask that Bundy be put to death in Florida's electric chair. Jim Leodal for CBS News in Miami. A man already slated to die in the Florida electric chair won a stay of execution today. Howard Douglas was scheduled to be executed Thursday morning, but today U.S. District Judge Ben Krentzman in Tampa stayed the order, saying he was concerned about defense objections that Douglas was denied a fair trial. The House has rejected efforts to get a one-year delay in President Carter's plan to cut Amtrak rail passenger service almost in half. The president plans to eliminate many of the lightly traveled Amtrak service routes, saying they are wasteful. Some lawmakers tried to stop the cutback plan, saying rail passenger ridership is up and the trains are needed because of the gasoline supply crunch. CBS News diplomatic correspondent Marvin Kalb quotes intelligence sources as confirming that the Soviet Union has moved a military command structure into Cuba capable of handling up to 12,000 Soviet troops. Kalb says there's no evidence any of these Soviet troops are in Cuba or on the way there. Senator Richard Stone, Democrat of Florida, says he's familiar with some of the details involving Soviet presence in Cuba, but wants to know more. All I know is that there is this command structure. It is capable of handling a brigade. And it is, therefore, in my view, a direct or indirect effort to establish a base. And I would like it either removed or appropriate action taken regarding it. Furthermore, I think it's quite timely now for the administration to tell what it knows about the Soviet commitments made to end the Cuban Missile Crisis. Stone says President Carter should insist the Soviet force in Cuba be removed before it grows, possibly into a military base. A move to pass a constitutional amendment that would bar forced busing to achieve school integration failed in the House today. The vote was 209 for the amendment and 216 against. That was 79 votes short of the needed two-thirds majority. 
Representative Ron Model, Democrat of Ohio, introduced the proposed ban. He said he thinks it lost because not enough members of the House are responsive to the wishes of the American public. Congressional leaders today told President Carter he will get a windfall profits tax on the oil industry, but they said it won't come as soon as the president wanted and probably 